Card View allows you to manage the execution of projects and tasks using a board display. This video will teach you the basics of using Card View and show you some best practice examples. So, let's see what Card View can do. On the Projects tab, click on the View menu and choose Card View. In the Navigator panel on the left, I'm going to select a container. I'll choose the Website Design Project. All of the task cards for this project are now displayed. CardView is designed to help you visualize your work by different categories. You can select a category with this drop-down menu at the top. I'll choose Phase, which is a custom field I set up to show me the status of my work. Additional custom fields can be added from the Settings tab by workspace owners or co-owners. Now, I have a clean visualization of the tasks in each phase of my website design project. The great thing about CardView is that it's fully integrated with all the other features in Liquid Planner, so any changes you make here will be reflected across the entire workspace. To make edits to a card, double-click on the card to open the edit panel for that plan item. All of the powerful filtering capability that you use in Timeline View is available in CardView as well. You can update your cards with simple drag and drop. If I know that there are a few tasks that are ready for testing, I can multi-select and drag those cards over to the testing column to update the status of my work. When you're dragging cards across to a new column, don't worry about the exact position of the drop. This type of horizontal move will not change the priority order or the schedule. You're simply recategorizing the item. You can also drag and drop a card up and down within a column. The priority of that task in your plan will change with respect to the items in that same package or folder. Horizontal movement changes the category and vertical movement changes the priority. If you are not able to prioritize the card within the column, you'll see a tab at the top. This will prompt you to drag and drop the card to the correct container in the navigator panel on the left. Remember that any complex prioritization changes can be made in Timeline View. Okay, now that we know how it works, I'm going to show you how different types of teams can benefit from using Card View. For development teams, setting up a custom field called Status is great for modeling your Agile workflow. Once a task card has progressed through the full sequence, you can move it to a completed column, but don't forget to mark the actual task done. I can also view the same work categorized by a different attribute. I'll go back up to the drop-down menu and choose Relative Size. Now my cards are organized extra small to extra large. This lets me visualize the relative size of my tasks or stories within a given project or sprint. Another way of looking at this work is by type. I can easily see how many task cards in this sprint are bugs, user stories, specs, or tech debt. Marketing teams can set up card view to represent their campaign workflow. Your team members simply move their tasks forward as they make progress. This keeps the team on track while giving marketing managers insight into the status of the campaign in real time. You can transform Card View to your personal task board. Just select the root of the workspace in the navigator and then filter to your items. You'll then see your task cards by category and by priority. Similarly, managers can filter by team member to easily see what each person is working on. So that's Card View. Awesome, right? Remember that one of the keys to using it effectively is setting up the right custom fields. Be sure to check out the Liquid Planner Help Center to learn how.